Following the governor's announcement, bars and tasting rooms are preparing to reopen. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry checks in with one tasting room owner who found a way to open this winter for the price of $500. Not a single person stepped foot inside the tasting room for two months on March 6th of last year. Exactly a year later, and there is a glimmer of normalcy on the horizon for tasting room owners like Patrick Rowan. Over the past summer, Woodland Farms Brewery in Kittery offered outdoor seating. But as the seasons changed, so did Rowan's business model. Once it got cold, it became very clear that it was not going to be sustainable for us to keep our tasting room open if we didn't do something about that. So Rowan applied for a different liquor license, a license that means he would also have to serve food. A three week process and $500 later, Woodland Farms could invite customers inside again. Whatever it takes. So, you know, now we sell hot dogs and, you know, soup and things like that. We plan to open bars and tasting rooms on March 26th. Well. The governor's announcement Friday comes as welcome news to Rowan and others in the brewing industry. I think a lot of folks are ready to be able to serve customers indoors safely. Safely is the key word. While restrictions are loosening, one thing will remain the same. CDC guidelines will continue to be part of our daily life. We all should wear our mask, watch your distance, avoid crowds, and wash your hands frequently. An industry raising a glass to getting back in business and welcoming Mainers and more out-of-state visitors through their doors. In Kittery, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. While a different liquor license was the way Woodland Farms was able to reopen, Rowan says he won't be renewing that license because breweries have to show that 10% of revenue from the year before was from food, which isn't the case for him.